hey guys welcome or welcome back again to the channel if this is your first time of coming across this channel please kindly subscribe to this channel and uh, turn on your post notification bell that way whenever there is an upload in this channel you always be notified guys in today's video is about a uh, ways their uh, husbands uh, hurt their wives yes a lot has been going on uh, in this world a lot has really been going on including couples marriage relationship all this but i'm going to be pin, uh, pinpointing about uh based on husbands yes if you know you're a man you have a wife at home and uh, you are doing all this the way you hurt your wife so i think you should listen to this that's where you have to learn from this and be able to correct your mistakes in this video so if this is what you're interested in watching please kindly subscribe to this channel and uh, hit on that like button yes. When you start uh, criticizing your wife, you criticize her over everything. Nothing she says or does is good. You just criticize. You keep criticizing. Guys, this is very bad. It really hurts a lot. Uh, you need to listen to your woman and... Uh, yeah, you listen to her, give her a listening ear to hear from her, know what is exactly what it is. If she has a complaint or if there's anything that she's telling you, you have to uh, listen to her. It's not that you just have to like criticize her every over everything. Guys, this is very bad. It really hurts women a lot. It hurts women a lot. So when it hurts a woman a lot, a woman can go to any extent to like, uh, take a revenge or maybe do whatever that her husband tells her when you do this type of thing you always frequently you'll be criticizing her every time i don't another one is when you don't uh, pay attention to her words and ideas uh, you have uh, something you complain to her she tells you she gives you her uh, her own ideas you don't even care about her ideas you believe that her idea is just a nonsense idea you don't pay attention to her words whatever she's saying this one what is this one saying so guys this is very bad if you are doing this please stop it please stop it is not good it hurts women a lot especially that woman whom you call a wife you keep at home you call a wife if you are doing this please stop it it is not good stop that always pay attention to her even if there is she's saying rubbish or nonsense there'll be one serious thing that you be able to gain from all those things she says Please, guys, if you are doing this, please, 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 I think it's high time you stop and start paying attention to her words and ideas. Because when you pay attention to her words and ideas, I'm telling you, you will surely find something profitable from those words and ideas which she's giving you. You don't assume enough of a uh, household responsibilities. You believe that the responsibilities in the house is mostly for the woman no guys this is very bad you just think that it's only to just go to work and come back and uh, let's give for instance a, a woman a working class lady or even a woman who stays at home guys this lady she spent her day you before you go to work she prepare your meal she wakes up early and make sure that she prepares your meal then you go to work she cleans she cleans everywhere she makes sure that your laundry your clothes every all of them are clean she makes sure that the house is clean the kitchen she makes sure there is enough food in the house thereby if there is not she can run to the shops go and get foodstuffs come back and cook and prepare for the house she, uh, let's say that children are also involved she also makes sure that she looks after the children this same woman everything is her guys ah it's too much it's too much at least if there's any way you can render help you can still render help i mean you can go out you come back very late you still expect her to wake up very late like most men who go out they come back around 12 midnight 1 midnight 2 o'clock you still expect her to wake up to go and make your food okay you know get hand you know get hand what is the big deal to enter into the kitchen there and make your food and it allowed the woman to rest 
all these things you don't assume enough of the household responsibility you just take it and pack it on one person it's not fair now think about it all these things hurt a woman and it keeps it it sick it secretly milks her dry milks her down so if you are one of the people who does this please stop it it is not good is um needs and desires your needs and desires are secondary to his when you have needs when a woman have needs she has desires and uh, you as a husband you don't see it as a primary thing instead you see it as a secondary thing okay a woman has needs and let's say you have the money even if you don't have the money why don't you call her to order and explain to her i'm sure when you call a woman and uh, sit down and explain to her uh, she's going to understand you nobody is an animal guys nobody no woman is an animal unless she chose that way otherwise when you call her and explain to her i'm sure she will understand you don't just treat her like uh uh she's just saying rubbish or she's just blabbing that these things they are they, what is the need of all this you see let's say now she does not have a slippers let's use slippers flip flop for an example she don't have flip flops is that same flip flop she used in doing what she goes out to spread clothes she goes out to trubing she can use it to go um for batting she can use it to go around the house. She can use it for every other thing. And when she's telling you she, she can't even afford that, that she needs that, you are telling her what is the essence of it, what is the need of it. Guys, this is very bad. It is very bad. Or for instance, she tells you she needs um, she needs maybe some of her clothes, old clothes are torn. She needs a replacement this do you expect that woman whom you call a wife to wear a torn clothes or a damaged clothes to go outside don't you think that people will be like this woman does she not have a husband why did her husband leave her to wear this or can't her husband afford to buy her a good or better clothes why will you assume assume that her desires are secondary to yours you don't even care about it if you are doing this stop it because you are hurting that woman. If you're this type of person that always try to explain your hurts, instead of trying to understand her feelings and empathize with her, you, all you care is where she hurts you, she says this to you To What led to that? What really led to that? What really led to her hurting your feelings? What did you do to that lady, that woman whom you call your wife? What did you do to her that led her to hurt you? You say that she hurts you. What really led to that? You, you, you don't even want to understand her feelings and empathize with her. W women are, women are, 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 are people, people gave birth to women. You know that. They are not animals. They are not gotten from trees. They are not slaves. They are, they are a fellow human being like you. When you pinch yourself, is the way you feel is the way when you pinch another person. That's how that person feels. You understand? So you don't like uh, on, uh, see women like they are just uh, slaves or they, 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 they don't have feelings. Uh, why will I empathize with them? No. Women have feelings. In fact, they are the most softest and amazing human being on this earth which you know you have to empathize with her you have to understand her feelings talk to her be with her uh, know what is that that uh, uh, disturbs her know what is that that she complains know what is that that she's really emphasizing on know what is that understand her when you understand that she'll be your best friend she'll be the sweetest thing you have ever known in your life don't do that she's hurting you know the reason why which she which made her to say those words that hurt you those words you think that um it, it, she said it to hurt your feelings to hurt you this and that you keep saying she hurts you hurts you oh my god huh please understand that woman whom you keep in the house 
try to reason with her, understand and empathize with her and not always thinking that she hurts you. You might be the one who is making her to hurt you because it's that same hand which you bring. Maybe that woman decides to use the same hand to follow you and now <laughs> you are feeling so hot. Guys, if you are doing this, <laughs> please stop it. Stop it. It is not good. Uh, next is uh, acting as if uh, you are uh, superior and she's inferior. Those days when you used to run after that woman, back in the days when you used to chase her, chike her, toast her, you don't remember that you, used to, you are the inferior. You are the superior. Yeah, you did not remember those days. You are the superior. Now you have put her in, the, in your house. She has given birth to maybe one, two, or three kids. Now you are feeling that you are the superior. Your gak pata pata on top. Now she's the, she's um, inferior. You know, you treat her anyhow. You do anything anyhow. You lie to her. Guys, where is your sense? Be having sense now. Be having sense and be remembering the good old days. Don't just don't treat a woman like that. Do not treat a woman like that. Yeah, it's not that she's not going to respect you, but when you start treating her that uh, uh, you are the superior, she's the inferior. Some women they will retaliate. They will start misbehaving. They won't even give you that uh, superior respect that you want. You see. So for us to avoid those things, it's better you, they say, um, uh, in my culture, they said, akandi kwenyera akepe, akepe kwenyera akandi. Eh? That which you want this, uh, you want, as in, which you want this person to do for you uh, in a nice way, you also do it for that person in a nice way too. You see, guys, so if you are doing this, please stop it. Please stop it. Stop it. Stop it. A woman already knows that you are the superior. You are the head of house. She knows that she respects that. But don't be in throwing it to her face every time. It can lead to another thing. Okay, guys. Next is showing preference to others over your over your wife, over your woman. Yes, you show preference over them. You have a wife in the house, you, you are with your woman. When you see another woman, you think that that woman is now the best. Your wife is a shit. Your wife is a nonsense. Your wife is not, is not, is not woman enough. Those ones outside are the ones you think uh, uh, they are the best. In the end, you remember that you have a woman with you, alongside with you, or you have a woman in the house showing preference over them. That is very bad. Or maybe someone comes to you now and tell you that uh, yeah, your wife did this or did that. You don't even like her. Okay, let me go and uh, talk to this woman. You just have to carry it in mind. You you like bearing grudges with your, your woman. For you to do that, it has already shown that you give preference to others over that woman. Yes, because if you don't give preference to the woman whom you call your wife, your woman, you come back, you call her, you talk to her, you tell her that even if you don't need to mention the name of the person, somebody said you did this, did that. Was it true? Was it what really happened? You hear from her, guys. You hear from your wife before you pass judgment. When you don't do that, it means that you show preference to that those other people you don't have regard you don't have respect your woman all these things triggers the woman to start acting stupid or doing one thing or the other so um please i think you should learn how to respect your wife in this in this case show her the love show her you prefer her and not those other people because there must be a reason why you leave all every other people and is that woman that you want so guys last but not the least is when you don't go out to add romance to your relationship yes romance to your relationship those days when you were busy weighing that woman you are inviting her to this restaurant you are telling her to come let's go to this club uh, let's go to the football to watch football uh, a lot of beautiful places 
those days where you were wooing her and when two of you are already in the relationship, it was just like starting new, booming, so sweet. Then when you've gotten her, uh, she might have had kids for you and now you decide that uh, uh, you, 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 she, she's not good enough, you know? Let's let's put it that way. She's not good enough. Uh, you are not in that mood. It's, no, 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 no. You, uh, adding spice to relationship is something that you shouldn't give up on. You should keep doing it and doing it. Once in a while, you tell your woman, dress up, let's go out. You go out, you can go have dinner. You can even go have lunch. You can hang out someplace. You stay there, you talk. You talk about a lot of things. You can as well make out time. You travel out to different places, different places where you can go have fun, spend the weekend, weekend getaway, or even a one week break, you know, you do that. Or maybe if there is a place where uh, they play uh, like a football, you can tell her to dress up both of you can go out to go watch the match a lot of places where you can go catch cruise even like swimming the both of you a lot of places you add spice it's just like when you wake up in the morning, you'll be watering your plants. When you don't water your plants, what do you expect? You you expect the plant to just die. That is the result. But when you do all this, it's just like watering a plant. It keeps refreshing. It keeps booming, you know? So, dear men, like I listed all this i'm sure it's going to help you out so that uh, if you are this type that don't know where you're hurting your wife your woman whomsoever uh you live in the house you believe that this is a person a partner you share your life with when you don't know where you hurt each other just go through these videos and this point I listed here. I'm sure it's going to correct you and help you a lot. Yes, it's going to help you a lot. Uh, yeah, remember to always add romance, spice your relationship up. Don't just do like you just wake up in the morning, you carry your bag, you leave. The next one, you wake up, you come back in the night, put food, you just eat food, but go straight to the bed and lie down. Your life will con is going to be a boring relationship now. Boring one. If I'm the woman, I'm I'm also going to be bored. Huh? I'm also going to be bored. So please let's spice up our relationship with our partners, uh, whoever that watches this. And please uh kindly like this video if you enjoy watching this video. Uh leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, I would like to hear and interact with you and also subscribe to this channel subscribe and turn on uh, the post notification bell that's way whenever there is an upload in this channel you always be notified and also share this video tell a friend and a friend about Nomso's world I appreciate you all I love you all and I hope to see you all again in my next video stay blessed and bye Wherever